to IBPS Bank Exam Speed Matrix Quadratic Equation. With the analysis of previous bank exams, we can say that we we may get five questions from quadratic equations, and it is scoring part. Using this simple trick, we can solve these type of problems in very less time. Let us solve some example problems collected from previous exam papers. Here, two x square plus twelve x plus sixteen equal to zero, and two y square plus fourteen y plus twenty four equal to zero. Here, we have to solve x value and y value, and find the relationship between x and y. Whether x is less than y, x is greater than y, x is greater than or equal to y, like that. Here. Sixteen split sixteen into two. Here two into eight equal to sixteen. Here x square coefficient is two. Here the middle term plus twelve. Here we have to split this middle term plus twelve into two numbers in such a way that their addition should be plus twelve and their multiplication should be two uh, into two into eight. That is thirty two. Here four plus four. Plus eight split plus twelve into four and eight. Here four eight is a thirty two and plus four plus eight equal to plus twelve. Then change the sign signs of these numbers. Plus four becomes minus four and plus eight becomes minus eight and divided by quotient of x square that is two. Therefore, x value equal to minus two comma minus four. Let us solve this equation also. Here, twenty-four. We can write twenty-four as four is four. Four is the twenty-four, and x coefficient, y square coefficient is two. Split this middle term plus fourteen into two numbers in such a way that their addition should be plus fourteen and multiplication should be two into four into six plus eight plus six. Here plus eight plus six becomes plus fourteen, and its multiplication eight plus six eight into six forty eight. That is two into Four into six. You change. Then you have to change the signs of these numbers. Minus eight, minus six, and then divide with y square coefficient. Therefore, we get y is equal to minus four, comma minus three. Therefore, we can conclude that x is x equal to minus two comma minus four, and y is equal to minus four comma minus three. Here, x is greater than or equal to y. Let us solve one more problem so that we can understand better way. Here, eighty-eight x square minus nineteen x plus one equal to zero. Split this number into eleven into eight, and here constant value is one. We have to split this middle term into two numbers, such a way that their addition should be minus nineteen, and their multiplication should be. Eleven into eight into one. Therefore, minus eleven, minus eight. Minus eleven minus eight becomes minus nineteen, and its multiplication value becomes eighty-eight. Then change the signs of these numbers and divide it by quotient of x square. Minus eight becomes plus eight and divided by eighty-eight. Therefore, x is equal to 
वन बाय एट वन बाय इलेवन देन फाइंड दिस नंबर स्प्लिट वन थर्टी टू इंटू टू नंबर हियर वन इज वन क्वेश्चन कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू इज वन एंड स्प्लिट दिस वन थर्टी टू इंटू टू नंबर Twenty two into six. Then split this middle term into two numbers in such a way that their addition should be minus twenty eight and its multiplication should be six into twenty two into one. Here minus twenty two minus six, so that its multiplication value becomes six into twenty two into one. And its addition should be minus twenty eight. Then change the signs of these numbers. Plus twenty two, and divided by quotient of y square. Then six by one thirty two. So that we can from here we can say that. X is greater than y. Then solve one more problem. Here, four x square minus eight x plus three is equal to zero. Here we have to x square coefficient is four and constant value is three. Split this middle term into two numbers. So that its multiplication should be four into three, and its addition should be minus eight. That is minus six minus two becomes minus eight, and its multiplication value becomes twelve. Four into three. Then change the signs of these numbers, and divided by first. The coefficient of x square. Therefore, three by two, comma one by two. X equal to three by two, comma one by two. Then change, solve this equation also and find the y value. Four divided by two into two into seven. And split this middle term into two numbers, so that its multiplication should be four into two into seven, and its addition should be minus fifteen, minus eight, minus seven. Then change the signs of these numbers and divide it by quotient of y square, so that we get y equal to. Two comma one point seven five. Here one point five zero point five. From here we can say that x is less than y. Like this, we can solve some some more problems so that we can get answers in very less time by using this method. Solve these problems also so that. you can understand in better way